Hi guys, this week I'm finishing the, uh, the bed, uh, put a couple of coats of uh, polyurethane on the inside, um, just to keep it protected against moisture, and um, I still have to make uh, some, uh, drill some holes in the sideboards for the pivot mechanism. Um, uh, it, it's a six-sided coupling nut, so I have to adjust those holes so the nuts will fit uh, correctly in it. Uh, and then, of course, uh, do the fitting, which I've done in the meantime. But you'll, you'll see what I mean. This is the entire pivot mechanism. Well, take the top off. It's a shoulder bolt. And I'll loosen this up a bit. This will be inserted temporarily still. So when the bed is inserted, this is the other, other half of the pivot with the bed turning around this point. You can see the bolt on the outside is fine, but the shoulder bolt on the inside is still sticking out, so I have to remove a few washers. Now just the resistance, Let's see how that works. Hi guys, as you can see the bed is installed now and it took me uh, about three attempts to uh, get it all done. Um, had, some, uh, had to make some adjustments because yeah, even though I made all the calculations and it still did, didn't work out correctly. So I had to uh, lower the cabinets uh, about three quarters of an inch, uh, even adjust the height of the, the bed, the thickness of the bed itself. Uh, and. Yeah, it makes some adjustments to the pivot mechanism as well. Uh, but uh, as you can see, just had it like this. Right now, it works perfectly. This is temporary. It will have uh, very likely two uh, two legs on the side, uh, but that's <laughs> that's in the future. Uh, and it. Uh, works fairly easy uh, 
and that's just a temporary <laughs> temporary way to uh, keep it up. Uh, it'll probably uh, have some locks on the sides. Uh, this is the location of a closet. Uh, so from the inside of the closet and uh, very likely on the right hand side as well. Um, just to keep it uh, secure while driving. Uh, the first thing what I'll do is uh, put a shelf over here all the, the way from left to right uh, which is part of the upper cabinet which is just very tiny but that's because of the size of, of the van. Um, this uh, is maybe still curious for a lot of people. Um, you have to imagine that I planned a desk at this level so if you have a low seat I'll have a desk over here, probably this size approximately. Um, so I can work on the desk, a little bit higher chair. So um, that desk will fold up over this, this area. So when the desk is folded up, this area is covered. And the bottom of the desk will have a picture on it as well. And then whenever you lower the desk, this area will be exposed. And this will have another picture in it and a, a real, real painting. For the moment, I'll leave everything exposed. Not, it'll be finished with Formica, um, but I won't do that until uh, much later. Uh, I first have to do the installation on the back, electricity, the cables underneath and in the back wall. Uh, what I'll do first is make, that's the next step, first, the, the upper cabinets, at least the basics of the upper cabinets, and then a closet next to the bed over here. And this, this is a place where I will hang my clothes. Uh, the kitchen area will be over here, but that's, that's further in the future. Uh, what I might do in the meantime, that depends on the situation, is install a roof vent at this location. That's quite necessary because it's uh, already very hot here in, in Florida um, and so there, there are several things I plan to do and it may start working on a, a foldable shower or at least a, a movable shower um, in the next couple of weeks um, but you'll see that whenever that happens. Hi guys this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks, guys. Doing a good job.